everyone. I'm trying out this new tripod thing to hold my phone. I'm thinking about doing some video tutorials on bag making. Not sure yet. Maybe starting a YouTube channel. So playing a little bit with, um, with some of the technology I can get to do that. Anyways, I just wanted to pop in quickly just to show this amazing bag that I just made. Um, my cousin Rain ordered the new Trailblazer uh, convertible backpack. This was the first one that I have made. And I swear, I think right now it is by far my favorite pattern to ever put together. There's so many little pieces, there's so much hardware, but how beautiful it has turned out. I just, I just can't wait to make more. I already have three or four on order and I'm so ecstatic to be able to make them. Hey, Brandy, nice to see you. Brandy is another, uh, another Brandy, not myself, but one of my good friends, Brandy, who's also, um, has home-based businesses herself. So uh, we're right in there, right in sync with everybody. Anyways, let me show you, ex please excuse the huge mess that is my studio today, but that doesn't matter. It means I'm busy. Anyways, this is it. Look how beautiful. She's a very, very, very large bag. This is the Trail Blazer backpack. Um, Rain chose this amazing Riley Blake fabric um, that she found on Funky Monkey and it had um, like this rose gold in it, which went perfect with the rose gold hardware and then the rose gold with the black. Oh my God, to die for. So you probably saw on my page, I took a picture of my one of my besties, Alicia, was kind enough to be my model today just to show what it looks like on a body. So on the back of it, you can see here, Thanks, Brandy. Didn't it turn out lovely? Hi, Julie. Nice to see you on here. One day we will meet in person. I, I can't wait to make your next set of bags. They're coming up here in a couple weeks. Anyways, so this one, it is a backpack. You can see how it clips on here. These come off, so you can have them as a backpack. You can have it as a crossbody, or you could have it as a handbag, or even if you wanted it to be more of this, to be a shoulder bag, I could even extend these. So, yeah, let me kind of show you. I mean, I'm not the best model in the world, but I mean, this goes on the back like this. Look how nice that is. I can't see. I hope you guys can see that. Like that. Or it has the removable crossbody strap like this. Oh, I have it up too high. But anyways, or that could be a shoulder strap in itself. I don't know. It's just amazing. So another thing I wanted to show you was the many pockets. I mean, there's this flap here and underneath there's a huge, huge slip pocket that's held together with magnetic snaps. And then there's a zipper pocket right there. Can it just be a shoulder bag and not a backpack? Absolutely. Um, I could leave all of this off. I could leave these off and just make these into shoulder bag. No problem. I mean, this bag is so incredibly customizable that it can be whatever you want it to be so yeah you just have to let me know and of course I can do that for you um, on the back if I get all these out of the way there's another slip pocket here this actually was supposed to go all the way through so it can slip onto luggage because this is supposed to be like a really good carry-on bag as well <laughs> Julie I love that you love my bags <laughs> I think it's absolutely wonderful um, but I turned it into a slip pocket for rain because it's actually just going to be uh, a purse. This is just, uh, I think I'm going to have to make myself one. And then there's another zipper pocket here. Oh, I didn't even show you. Look at the, it's even got this cream color and these arrows are all in the rose gold color. Like this Riley Blake fabric is absolutely breathtaking, breathtaking. And then of course on the sides, you got more than enough room for like your water bottle or your coffee or whatever smoothie whatever you would put in it uh, and then this is it look how big it is inside it's got a zipper pocket on one side two slip pockets on the other I seriously I can't I just can't explain how gorgeous this bag is it just it doesn't do it justice even in the video you have to see it in person it's just oh my god I'm just so excited about this bag it's just so amazing and I can't wait to make it in other people's fabrics to see what other new forms of life it takes on because I think it'll just look different for anything but for my first attempt at this it turned out perfect I think it was so proud 
it's gonna be my next one. <laughs> Julie, yay! It'll be your next one. That's so exciting. I think you've got one for every season right now, but um, I love it. And maybe I will deliver that one to you because you're slightly out of town. Um, I might be doing some classes on the Okanagans for some purse making classes, and I'm thinking about doing um, some hat or bag makers conventions and seminars that might be coming up this summer. I don't know. It's just it's a whole new world for me being able to do this full time, so I'm trying it. Um, so anyways, yeah, I just had to absolutely show this off and hopefully Rain does not mind, but do you know what? She's my cousin, so she has to love me regardless if she minds or not. Yeah. So great. Yeah. Um, I guess another thing I can show, I did do my first vendor fair this weekend. Um, it was pretty successful. I do have a few items left. I just wanted to put them out there that if anybody wanted to buy them, they can now because now I don't have to worry about stocking that table until my next vendor fair um, at the end of March. So then I'll be stressing out all over again. But I want to show you what I have. So I do have three of my shop and goes, or snap, what I call these, snap and go uh, grocery totes. So what these are, I'll show you. They look like a little wallet. You unsnap it, and when you open it up, Hi Tanya. Hi Robin. Oh Robin, uh, for for this bag you're talking, this bag uh, goes for $195. That's taxes and everything in. I don't charge any taxes extra on them. Um, so yeah, $195. And this is a good heavy, heavy bag. I mean the uh, hardware alone is just. Ugh. It's gorgeous. I'm going to make myself one. But yeah, $195 for that. Um, if you do choose Spoonflower Fabrics, which is a specialty fabrics, um, that is an extra $25 charge because it comes up from the States. I have to pay duty and it's a little more expensive. But there's also many Canadian companies that we can get fabrics from as well. So yeah, no, if you have any questions, feel free to, to message me or you can email me at info at beansbagsandhandicraftsco.com and I can answer any questions or message me on Facebook. That would be absolutely fine. Hi Jeannie. Oh, are you talking about Julie's bag is beautiful or are you talking about this bag being beautiful? Oh, and you're a bag maker as well. So you understand the... Uh, the joy that comes when you're making these bags. It's just, I don't know, I like it, sorry. I've got, I'm trying to read all the comments at the same time. Um, anyways, back to this tote. So, from that wallet, it opens up into this, and then you just fold it up again. It's better to do it on a table. And this just folds in like this, and this up like this. And it just folds back in like that. So these thing, these are $20. I do not do custom on these just because um, to bring in the fabrics it would end up costing me too much money. So I just use fabrics that I have on hand here. So um, if you want some of them, you can watch for when I do make them or you can say, do you have anything that you can make me in like blue or red or whatever? Show me what you got and I can make them for you. Um, oh, it's so nice to have everybody there. Hi, Tanya. Um, so yeah, I've got that one. I've got a puppy print one that has um, the fire hydrants. And then my last one is just a brown one and it kind of has a gardening theme on the inside. So yes, those are $20. These three are for sale. I am gonna be putting them on my website, but if you want them before I put them on there, just shoot me a message and I can definitely put them aside for you. Um, those all get closed up tight. Okay. So next, these have been so incredibly popular. These are the Beach Comer coin purses. There's one in skulls. Oh, Jesse. Hi, Jesse. Yes, you would love the fire hydrants because you are a dog trainer. Yes. Um, yeah. Jessie's my cousin and she has a dog training company and takes dogs on hikes and everything. So the dog print would be perfect for you. I've got this little one with cherries. These little guys are $10 each. Oh, there's another fire hydrant one. Jessie, woo, it could match a tote. This one's with Hello Kitty. It'd be great for little girls. It's got like the sparkle vinyl on it. And then two of these 
emoji fabric ones. So those are for sale. If you see anything that you like there, they're $10 each. Message me. I'll put them aside for you before I put them up on my website. Oh, one more. I have like a video game one too. <clears throat> um, what else do I have left? I have the Denver wristlets. So these are $45. Um, I don't know how to show what they are. So uh, again, uh, I can do these custom if you're ordering a bag and I'm getting the fabric in, but for me to order a whole meter of fabric for just like this small piece, um, it just ends up costing me too much, but I can definitely do it with fabrics that I already have. Or, I mean, you can add it to your, your purse order and I can make it so it matches it. I mean, it's a great little pouch. You have a pocket here and a pocket here. And then the wristlet does come off as well. So you could just have it as a pouch or what have you. So for those, again, they are $45. So I got like the video game design. I have this, oh, Jesse, look at this one. My dog, best friends. Uh, be the person your dog thinks you are. I have this gecko one. And I have this mermaid on the seahorse one. Oh, that's all I have for those. Okay, and then I only have one of these left. This is cotton candy pouch. This one is made with um, limited edition Tula Pink fabric. I do not remember what this fabric is called, but I just love the faces. So she's actually my favorite one. And on the other side is another. Did in the sparkly. See the sparkle of the vinyl. And the inside. So, this one is $40. If anybody wants to claim her, message me and she could be yours. So they're great, great little makeup bags. And then finally, we have the sunshine wristlets. So these are a larger wristlet. Um, they actually make a pretty good clutch size. So if you don't want to carry a whole purse, um, Brandy, you like the sloth, do you? Um, I have so much of that sloth fabric. <laughs> I bought a whole bolt of it because I myself love sloths. So now I'm like, I've never made anything with it. So now I'm making stuff with it. So anyways, so this is one of them, uh, sunshine wristlet. And they're quite big inside too. So they do have a zipper pocket on the inside and yeah. So these guys are $50 a piece. And these are the ones I have left. I have the mermaids. I have jellyfish. So I've got two kinds of jellyfish on each side. I have Elvis with the sparkle vinyl and the rainbow hardware. You can see on the zipper. It's so pretty. And then it's just got like a hot pink interior. I've got skulls with the white vinyl and the nickel hardware and it's just purple on the inside I have this fabulous ends in us and best friends one so this is I actually have a whole uh, makeup bag set done up in in this fabric I just love it and then she's just pink on the inside again this wristlet comes off it just comes off the zipper and you could have it just as a pouch if you wanted as well and that's it that's all I have left of all that stock everything else um sold which is great I worked so hard to get it all together and I sold over half of it which I guess is good so I do have another market it's the uh, Camelot's Craft Market uh Spring Fair is coming up on March 28th there should be advertising for it probably within next couple weeks or so and it will be up at TRU Thompson Rivers University I believe it's in the Grand Hall um, I will be paired with creatively cut and with seeds and bloom designs they're actually my two friends so we always end up kind of being together so we can keep each other company and we can watch each other's booths and all that but they have amazing products as well they're great great people um, so yeah definitely recommend them um, mom's company won't be there cat's crafty corner because it is spring and it is kind of not toque season but you can probably come and visit her because she will be helping me um anyways that's all i have um i am thinking about going live just having a live sewing chat one day soon and uh just 
while I'm making a bag. So um, what would you guys like to see? Would you like me to see me make a wallet? Would you like me to make a bag? Maybe you want to watch me make the next trailblazer pack. Oh my gosh. I'm seriously going to have a hard time taking this tour on Thursday. Um, she's getting a matching necessary clutch wallet with it as well. So I do have to make that this afternoon for her. Um, other than that, uh, the rest of my week, I am actually working on, let's give some of my clients an update. I have, um, I'm working on Alicia's diamond clutch wallet. Um, I have Rain's necessary clutch wallet that's going to go with this bag. I'm also working on Sam's Skull Macy bag, which is going to be amazing with the Spoonflower fabrics that she has chosen out. And I have another Trailblazer bag coming out for Dawn, um, but we're waiting for her fabrics from Spoonflower so I can finish that. I've got it all cut out. I just got to wait for the last little bit to come so I can get it going. So I should have some videos or maybe not videos. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Jesse. I really appreciate it. <laughs> oh, Brandy. Everybody's complimenting me. It's, I love it. I'm, I'm not very good at being on video, but uh, thank you. Look, you're making me blush. Um, anyway, so yeah, Sam, you'll be seeing your Macy bag and I'll have lots of pictures of that for uh, once that's undergo. That should be started uh, hopefully tomorrow. I finally have gotten in the hardware I needed it. Uh, I got sent the wrong size, so I had to reorder it and it should be here tomorrow morning, I hope. Thank you so much, Julie. You help me a lot. All my all my people that order bags or support my page, or you don't even have to buy a bag. It's just having you guys all there in this community really um, helps make my career goals come true because I'm doing this pretty much full time. Uh, I still took on a part time bookkeeping job because I mean you never know and uh, you never know if orders will come in and everything. But I am actually working more now between my bookkeeping job and doing this than I was as a manager at a senior's home. So, which was a long, long hours, long hours, like 50 to 60 hour weeks and I'm still doing it, but I am actually loving what I do. So it's great. I could show you the chaos that is my sewing room. You could probably see it right now because it's a disaster, <laughs> but I've just been so incredibly busy and you guys are helping me get that one step closer to my industrial sewing machine. Um, you see I got my my Juki last year I don't know if you can see this that my husband bought me last year for Christmas and it's a heavy-duty machine that that handles making these bags pretty good with the vinyls and everything but I am really really thinking about branching out into doing leather bags as well this machine will not handle that I need to get my industrial Juki to do that so I am currently saving for my Juki 1541s um, and then bag making will be endless and I'll be able to do everything everybody wants. Anyways, I'm going to sign up for now. Um, let me know what you would like to see me make live. Um, I said it can be wallets. It could be a purse, the trailblazer purse. I've got like three of them on order, so I'll have a bunch of those going. Um, yeah, so many orders. I am booking into second week of April right now. Um, I have three and a half, so like three bags and a wallet type thing um, I take on every week. Uh, to do so I have that many bags I don't even know I don't know is that 22 bags or so that I have to, I have on order right now um, so if you want to get a bag I know April seems a long ways away but time really does go fast and by the time we choose your fabrics we plan your bag um, and I get the fabrics in because most of them come from out of town um, it's time to make your bag and the time goes fast ask any of my clients and you'll see ask Julie she 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 has bought many of my bags and she'll tell you they're definitely worth the wait and I'm not just tooting my own horn for that I, I've, I've been told that they're worth the wait so if you do want a spot definitely message me we got to get you booked in we got to get you your fabrics and everything ordered so everything's ready to go by the time your um, your slot does come out. I only require 50% down to begin with, so I know the bags range from $150 to $200. Um, I only use the best materials that I possibly can. Um, the guts of the bag that you don't see are the most um, important and give them uh, the structure and the quality of a bag. So when you get them, you'll feel that they're not a cheaply made bag. Um, each bag takes me about eight to 12 hours to make as well. Um, so I don't rush through them. I make sure they're absolutely perfect for what you want because I'm not gonna send a bag out the door that I'm not happy with. 
Um, and if something happens to it, like I know after a year or so, sometimes I've had, actually I've only had two people come back with it, where the strap has started to show some wear or the stitching has worn just from the usual being on the shoulder or being held. Not a problem. Give it to me. I will fix it for you. Just strengthen up those or or leave this or make new straps. It's not a big deal if it's just wear and tear. It's easy enough for me to fix. Um, but yeah, that just means that my bags are being used and they're being loved. So definitely, if you have any questions, message me. Um, make comments on my page. See what some of the other clients, my other clients say, and you'll you'll see. Um, we've formed friendships with all of my clients because it is a relationship, almost trying to plan what these bags are. So um, yeah, I look forward to seeing what your order is going to be and what your designs are. Um, for me to put into these bags because it just surprises me. I mean, I never would have thought black and rose gold, but this is my second bag with black and rose gold. And I mean, oh my God, like black and rose gold is amazingly amazing. Amazingly amazing. I know I don't even have a high vocabulary for that, but yes, definitely. If you want a bag or if you want any of these items that I already have made to these little pouches, please, uh, you shoot me a message and I can put them aside for you no problem anyways thank you everybody for tuning in and watching and I will see or talk to all of you soon thanks so much bye bye